Hello friends, welcome to the Clinical Pulse. Now, in our today's discussion, we are going to discuss about the tapping apex speed. Now, before discussing about the tapping apex speed, we must know what is the apex speed, right? Now, apex speed is located, uh, is palpated uh, on the precordium at this area. Now, this area is fifth intercoastal space. Fifth intercoastal space and it's intersecting at the mid clavicular line and you may uh, take a average distance from the mid sternal line as 3.5 to 3 inches and it may uh, get varied also so the maximal transmission of impulse from the left ventricle of the heart during each beat is projected at this place which is palpated very nicely you, this is uh, about the apex speed now what is stepping apex speed now before that uh, we must know a disease that is mitral stenosis now mitral stenosis is a consequence of rheumatic heart disease now mitral stenosis until and unless proven otherwise it's always caused in the rheumatic heart disease now what happens actually in mitral stenosis let us discuss for example, we have a left atrium and this is left ventricle. So we know the junction of these both is guarded by the mitral valves. Now these are the mitral valves. This is the left atrium and this is the left ventricle. Now in the mitral stenosis, what happens? The spaces between the leaflets become narrow if this is a normal space now in disease form it will be like so here you can see a very narrow space here it is more broader space and this is a more narrow space now why this is caused this is mainly caused by the progressive calcification fibrosis of the leaflets due to for example here are the normal leaflets due to uh, inflammation and uh, followed by the calcification and fibrosis there would be uh, some pathological growth on the valves right like this and which will eventually lead to the narrow space we have already discussed in uh, one of our previous video about it you can uh, see the link in the description now in the mental stenosis due to narrowing of the space between the leaflets what happen is the blood which is to be poured into the left ventricle for example this is the left atrium and this is the left ventricle right the blood which was normally coming from this much space like this pouring now become restricted to this much so this own much space in all, all the sole uh, way by which the blood can return from the left atrium to the left ventricle now what happens is due to this there would be low and diastolic volume right and there would be more volume of blood in the left atrium this is very simple guys due to the narrowing of the space in the mitral valve right the blood will be pooled up in the left atrium and there would be low blood volume in the left ventricle now this will lead this eventually will lead to the increased pressure in the left atrium it's very logical to think that a more pooling of blood the more hydrostatic pressure would be there right so there would be more increased pressure in the left atrium now this is finally the cause of the tapping apex speed now what happens is as you know there would be low uh, ventricular contraction due to the more uh, due to the less need of it because there is no uh, less lesser amount of blood pooling into it so what happens the apex beat which was uh, caused by the contraction of the left ventricle is now not perceived right the normal apex beat is not presented here or it's not uh, present 
so what happens due to the more louder uh, snap right the mitral valves right the mitral valves will be closed this is the left atrium and this is the left ventricle there would be more hydrostatic pressure right so we know the s1 sound which is the uh, which is caused by the closing closure of the mitral leaflets like this like this the there would be more snapping of the mitral leaflets due to the increased hydrostatic pressure in the left atrium as we already discussed its pathophysiology this sound would be transmitted to the actual area of the apex beat where we can feel the tapping apex beat so this tapping apex beat is the single outward impulse which can be felt at the area fifth intercostal space from and 3.5 inch from the mid-channel line so the apex beat is not present that is the left ventricle impulse is gone which is replaced by the tapping apex beat which is caused by the loud snap of s1 sound which is uh, s1 sound as we know is caused by the closing of the atrioventricular valves right so mitral valves represent the greater proportion of that sound now looking at this from the second perspective let us move on to that now, this is heart sound one which is followed by heart sound 2 like this it will be following through right so in heart sound 1 we know there is a closure of the AV valves in that time the blood would be from from the right ventricle and left ventricle to the pulmonary artery and the aorta respectively and in this right. there would be closure of the pulmonary aortic wall valves so that the blood would be filled in the left uh, in the ventricles right so that there would be no regurgitation now at this step think that just note that in the closure of the AV valves there would be a increased pooling of blood in the left atrium we know due to the stenosis of the valves in the mitral stenosis there would be lesser amount of blood going to the left ventricle due to the narrow space and the left atrium we know that most of the blood is uh, coming to the left ventricle passively and the third and the last step through which the blood passes to the atrial contraction now both the uh, mechanisms causes the increased pressure in the left atrium as we discussed which ultimately causes the loud snap loud snap of the heart hs1 when the mitral valve closes so this is the second perspective uh, from which we can understand the tapping a pick speed i hope this proved useful to you keep tuned for more clinical pulse thank you